Hey guys, it's Poochie. We're into part two of the Charlotte, North Carolina road trip thrifting challenge. We spent $880.87 total on the entire trip, Betsy's plane ticket, and also all the stuff we found uh, at the Goodwill bins. So let's count it up or start to. This is going to take several videos to do and see if we made our money back. Okay, so we're gonna go through the stuff that we found and add it up. So this is a Croft and Barrow, nice little padded vest. Okay. I'm gonna go quickly through these. This is a Gap blouse, nice and soft too. This is cutter and buck khaki shorts this is simply southern i got this one just because i like the design it's kind of like wool looks like the outside is kind of like the inside of a wool jacket these oh yeah these are gianni versace couture pants i'm excited about those i'm not sure how much they sell for but hopefully it'll be enough this is french toast i don't know anything about the brand but i figured i'd give it a try it's a cute little polo um this is a nike sports bra i think i accidentally put this in without even checking it so thank goodness it's okay this is torrid skirt oh these i just got because i thought they were cute uh sonoma brand i think they're flamingo shorts little flamingo short shorts This, I thought, looked kind of retro, vintage. It is London Times, and it's just kind of mod design dress. These are sound style stretch, stretchy jeans, but they are in the leopard print, which I liked. Ah, this is the Five Nights at Freddy hoodie. Kid size, I'm sure. But it's a big kid size, I think. These are Izod plaid shorts I just thought were cool. Rachel Zoe, little skirt, cute design pattern on that. And these are just, I thought these were cool, skeleton leggings. No big brand, I don't think, on those. Tommy Hilfiger long, kind of like a tank top dress. Long. This is, uh, this is a little row, but I like the pattern. It is geese, it looks like. Geese flying, nice skirt. I don't really usually go for LuLaRoe, but, you know. This is some sort of a Disney costume. Um, not sure who it is. Not sure who it is. I'm guessing a princess or a bad, a bad Disney character. This is, uh, with tags, Simply, Simply. It's just a... It's like a long kind of blazer or a long blazer dress. I don't know. This is um, Preston in York, new with tags. Nice long skirt with a slit in back. This is, I, I got this because I like the design, just Mountain Lake. It's just a shirt, but I like the design. I thought it was cute. 
This is I've got quite a few like little sweaters just because I think they're cute. It's just a little sweater. It's soft and sexy plush brand. That's sexy plush. Never heard of them, but I just liked it, so I got it. This is what is this? Christian Siriano. Little blouse. Pretty cute. This is D -d -d J. Crew. Now the values I'm going to put up on the screen on these are going to be low. What I figure of Foxcroft. I like this one because it. I don't know. It looks just kind of give me retro vibes. Collar's very stiff. So, kind of like Beetlejuice. You need a Beetlejuice costume for Halloween. That's it. Uh, this, I don't think it has a tag. I think Drea found this one. But it's just nice. Nice. I think it's vintage. Possibly hand sewn. Nice dress. This is... Dockers. They do have the button in the back, even though it was hidden. We've been trying to check things better before I buy them, even from the bins. Hippie Rose. Drea found this. It's just kind of a cool sweater. It's very soft. I've been trying to check things better to make sure they don't have stains. Lucky Brand t-shirt. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to talk. The limited and the nice slacks. Dress pants. It's kind of hard for me to talk and actually finish a sentence because I'm going through this so fast. But the prices I'm putting up on the screen during this are going to be the low. What I think we'll make, the minimum I think we'll make because I don't want to. White House, black market, jeans. I don't want to overstate. Oh yeah, these are the ones. Do you see the side? <coughs> Bless me. Oh, whenever I go to the bins, I start sneezing. I don't know if it's dust or allergies. J. Crew, just a cute little J. Crew V-neck t-shirt. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put up the minimum I think we'll make from them because that way we'll get a real good idea of whether we're gonna make back all the money that we spent or <clears throat> not. Dre got this because it was cute. It's Old Navy. She said, I know what you said about Old Navy, but this is a really cute jacket. It is kind of a red denim jacket. Way cute. We don't do Old Navy though because it doesn't sell, but that is going to be the exception to the rule. Sometimes we find stuff just because we think it's neat or we like the way it looks. Uh, this is Torrid. New with tags, 3X6550 <clears throat> is the original price. We got it for $1.89 a pound. It's just kind of a long, like, there we go, dress. Kind of a knit dress. These are New Departures. I don't even know, but they were just cute shorts. So I picked them up, they probably cost like 50 cents. When we go to the bins, we buy a lot of stuff because we don't have one here. This is Philosophy by Republic Clothing, the little blouse. Very, very thin. Uh, here is Jopa. I don't know who this is, but I think I got, yeah, I got this because it's like, a little romper, like a little dress shirt, kind of cute. There's that word again. And this is Nina Piccolino. Very pretty dress. Very nice with the design. It's a long dress. I mean, it smells good, but this is cute, right? 
look a little costume it's only the top half so it's kind of like I mean I think it would fit me I'm just gonna I really I don't usually put things on before they get cleaned we think we think does it look look good so now my hair is going to be a mess, but that's okay. I think that's cute, right? That's like a big girl size or a big person size. And as soon as we're done with this one, we're going to go to another bag and go through that stuff too. This is Adele and May. Very pretty. Um, multi layers under there. I'm not sure that if that's a blouse or maybe lingerie. Cute though. Let's see what else we got. Okay, guys, we're going to go through some more real quick so we can fill up this bin for him. This is, who is this? Taylor Vintage. I don't know what this is or why we got it, but cute little t-shirt. This is, oh, ooh, Dre must have gotten this. Smokey the Bear. Because only you can prevent forest fires. Hello, hello. Out for dinner, slacks. Nice. Those feel good. Some of these clothes, you know, they just, they have a feel. What is this? Michael, N Michael Core. okay. Michael Core blouse. Cute. Good threads. Amaryllis. Those are cute. Kind of like stretch, stretchy jeans. Sometimes grown men, they wear stretchy pants. What movie is that from? If you know, post it in the comments. And I will give you a prize. I don't know who this is, but... Oh, it's Disney. Oh, it's Tinkerbell. The all-over print Tinkerbell. It's cute. It's definitely a Drea find. I don't know what this is. This is Vince Camuto. Ooh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Very comfy pants, guys. Comfy with a drawstring waist. I like. Massimo sweats. Oh, those are nice sweats. Nice with the pockets and very thick. Usually I stay away from Massimo stuff just because it does not sell. Croft and Barrel. Cute shorts. Can you wear those past Labor Day? Or is it Memorial Day? I don't know. This Susan Lawrence. That is cute. Seven Lady. So we're going to end this and we are going to go to dinner and I will be back or we will be back to finish it off soon. New directions. Those are cute. Just make the kids, I don't know. Dre got some Disney stuff. Divided. Oh, nice black. That's thin. That's nice. I want to get this bin filled up for him. It's Torrid. Overfull. Ooh, huh? It's overfull. Look at that blouse. I know, it's so cute. That is pretty. I think it's you got that one. See through. I did. Okay. So, we will be back to finish up soon. Hey guys, so we're back from dinner. I mean, this is a lot of stuff. This You gotta take breaks during this. Put yourself in traction from your arms. Oh, this is cool. Overwatch Primal Rage. I think this is part of, this is a loot crate item with the t-shirt. 
I think Loot Crate put that out. Chaps. I don't usually pick up chaps, but. Ann Taylor. Some almost like stretch jeans there. <clears throat> Oh my god, he keeps bringing it in. That's the last one. Jeans by Buffalo. Jeans by Buffalo. Okay, so it's just kind of a sweater. Kind of cool design, if you can see that. We are running out of room. We're going to have to get yet another warehouse, folks. Calvin Klein. I think that's a ladies' tee. Uh huh. So this is Free Country, a extra large jacket with the hood. Nice, nice thick, heavy-duty jacket. I don't know that I've ever heard of them, but. Liking, cute little blouse. There are so many bags, you guys, we got so much stuff. Flying cross, oh, okay, these are police pants. Flying cross police uniform pants. Halloween is coming up, I mean. <clears throat> Avalon, little kind of sweater, knit blouse. That is for someone. I know she got that for someone, so I'm holding it out. Old Navy. Eh, I told her no Old Navy, but she had probably already gotten this one. I don't like Old Navy. I mean, I do, but I don't like to resell it because it doesn't sell. Lila Ryan, Lila, L-I-L-A, stretch jeans. Uh, another chaps shirt, kind of a cool design here though. Adidas, uh, Reebok. There's so much, you guys. Club uh, Estate Performance. I honestly don't know who this is. Random polo shirt. Uh, Social Standard by Sanctuary. Little blouse. <clears throat> Outback Red. See, one of the problems is today I forgot my glasses. So, and my eyesight is horrible. That happens as we get older, I guess. I know, unfortunately. Um, I don't think this one has a tag, but it's cool. I like the design, the pattern, but no tag, so we will have to figure out what size it is. This is Carmen, Carmen Mark Valvo. Cool little open back, little peekaboo back. I'm not sure what you call that. This is Autograph Woman. That's cute. Cute little blouse. A lot of these things are summer and um, I don't mind keeping them. Uh, or listing summer stuff because a lot of times Banana Republic it's got it shows a little wear on this one but cute little Banana Republic blouse I don't mind keeping things that are summer because a lot of people live in Arizona a lot of people live in Florida so we'll list them Club Monaco smart pant just a pair of Club Monaco dress pants I don't know that brand 
So Drea doesn't usually look for brands too much. She's getting better at it, but um, Dockers. Or Dockers. Slacks. Um, she usually just tries to look for quality or thing, things that she likes. She usually find us, finds pretty good stuff that we may have overlooked. Juno. This is a Juno. It's got a polar bear on the tag. Kind of a cool, just a fleece, extra large coat, jacket. Five fifty boot cut jeans, the Levi's. My battery on the camera is going to run out before we get through all this. I'm telling you what, this is a Active Life. It's kind of cool, just like a weird. It's like a hoodie, but it kind of is separated in the back. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show you. You see that? Hello. Weird, right? Active Life brand. Ugh. Hold on a second. I have to press the stuff down because we're running out of bin space. Croft and Barrel. Uh, 80 Day Obsession? I have no idea what this is. Oh, that's cool. 80 Day Obsession Pineapples. And it is Beach Body. It's a cool shirt. Everybody loves pineapples. A lot of people, anyway. This is Soul. S-O-L. says Soul High Rise Crop on the jeans. They are green. Kind of a pale green. This is GT Performance. Just kind of maybe running pants. Ooh, that's neat. I don't know what that is, but that is cool. This is JH Collectibles, extra large. And it's got the really cool, can you see the inside? Really cool, like kind of a puffy vest with the cool <clears throat> inside liner. Whatever. We have a white t-shirt from somebody. L.L. Bean. Oh, okay. Kind of not a t-shirt. You see the the neckline there? It's more of a white blouse. That's nice. House of Junior. You'll have to tell me. That seems to be a religious shirt maybe, but maybe I'm just grabbing at straws and don't know. Arnaldo Funky. Oh yeah, that looks retro. That looks like a vintage piece. Looks like doesn't mean it is, but it sure looks like it. <clears throat> Wranglers. Wrangler shorts. Those seem to be a plus size. Almost to the bottom here. I only have about six more bags to go. We got so much stuff. So much stuff. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, this is cute. NASA. That is Mighty Fine brand. Just a little NASA t-shirt with the little chest graphic legend the blouse and when we get done with this box 
we will stop. Salt life. That is definitely a plus size. 2X, cool shirt. Almost out of battery. Trying to get through this. This is a cool little uh, Christmas type. Says soft style. Just a like kind of video game type Christmas shirt. We're almost out, guys. We're almost out. Old Navy on the blouse. <clears throat> Who is this? Heart soul on the blouse. It almost looks like scrub. Scrub top, but it's more dressy. Last thing. North Carolina Army National Guard t-shirt. That's it for now. Well, that's not too shabby, is it? Uh, we spent a total of $880.87. That includes gas, food, hotel, Betsy's plane ticket, and also what we spent on goods at the Goodwill Outlet Store or the Benz in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, that one, the first uh, thrift haul video that we have, there will be four in all. So this is a five part video series. Just the first batch, we made back $822 of that $880.87. And what I did as far as profits is I calculated the minimum profit I thought we would make after fees, after the item is sold. So pretty darn good. Uh, part two of the haul video will be coming up and I'm sure we'll go into the profit margin there. Let's see how much we're going to make on these items that we bought cheap at the Goodwill bins after we resell them. Thanks for watching. Remember, buy low, sell high, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.